If your eyes were closed and I'd shave and clean and I kissed you, would you know a guy kissed you or a girl kissed you? <laughs> All right, well, the whole idea for those who don't really understand why we are here, I'm sure a couple of you wouldn't know why we're here. Um, baseline, well, I, I wish I was one of the panelists talking about it, but I'm not. Um, I'm just here to let you know exactly what's happening. I'm going to give them just 30 minutes to talk and debate among themselves, not debate actually, to talk about the issue at hand and then. I can open it to you guys who ask whatever question you want to ask. But the main point is the fact that from the history of film, and we know in film since we were growing up, since the black and white ages, we know men to do film. From the Pate brothers to name them, Lumiere brothers, all from France and all that were men. Women were usually in the wardrobe section or makeup section and you know. But as time went on progressively women came behind the camera and it was doing some magic. I've worked with um, this witch, you know, in film, you know, you know film, film witch, <laughs> you know, for a couple of years. And um, what are they doing as women? What are they changing? Is there anything different they are doing? When a woman directs a film, what, what, what issues is she tackling? Would you please tell us, is it really about the passion and excitement about filmmaking or just because you have to make men's uh, ends meet and you have to, you know? Um. Like you said before, when this industry started, it started as a man thing. It's I mean, the whole world is a man's world, right? And so, um, with the film, the way the hours are, it's a grueling industry. So you cannot get into it if you do not have the passion for it. You would burn out. So for me, it's all about the art. It's all about creating a world, creating um, situations, you know, a hero, creating a hero and putting the person through life and seeing the person come out of life. The business aspect of it, it's icing on the cake, of course. Investors give you money, you have to pay them back, you have to pay your bills. So to get a film out there, people have to pay for it. So they, I think they'll go hand in hand. But you have um, a, a group of film um, Artists who we call authors who are not necessarily interested in money, they just want to make art, right? You have the, with, with, I'm not sure what who woman I can talk about right now and say she's an author, but I would probably, probably a little biased, but I'll talk about my friend Ava DuVernay. She is like, she's black. She is the latest Hollywood sensation. She did I Will Follow, she did Middle of Nowhere. Now she's doing Selma, which is produced by Brad Pitt's company. And Ava is all about art. You know, she's not necessarily that commercialized. You know, Selma actually fell into her lap. And she is, and the DP she's working with has not shot any commercial films. He shoots art. So we're all excited to see what Selma is going to look like with the kind of DP she hooked up with, right? So it is really about the art for some of us. And I think with women, it is more about the art because we really don't get hurt. So if we get the opportunity to be hurt, we are the problem. I remember Kwawansa called me and said, Leila, I want us to do... And he was like, he actually took my movies. He played promos on his um, TV station. He was like, bring the movies to my shop. I'll get them to come and buy it from there. See, if everybody had his mentality, when I see a problem, I kind of want to just sort it out, find a solution instead of... So you guys have have uh, fully said it right now. The problem is the fact that you're not united. The problem is not the bill that's coming up. The problem is not these people who are distributing. The problem is not, is not the bad quality of the movies. What you really need to sort out is have a, an association, one that's actually for the good producers or good directors, as you put it, and that, and you just have a charter. It's so you don't have to easy. depend on a bill no, it is actually not that difficult either. True, true. But it's going to take, for example, like me. I'm very outspoken, right? So a lot of people are like, oh, Layla, she's very outspoken. And so I'm the kind who I'm going to say it as it is. Not everybody is like that. And everybody is scared of being blacklisted. See, I'm not scared of being blacklisted. I'm, when I die, I'm in the coffin by myself. <laughs>